Hi everyone, it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new tutorial where I alter a mirror. This is a handheld mirror that I altered using the Prima Marketing Midnight Garden collection. As soon as I saw this collection, I knew I wanted to create a mirror. I don't know why, but it really made me think of that type of project. And I took one of these mirrors and I decided to alter it using some of the papers. I love this collection. It's so, so beautiful. It has beautiful deep red colors. And all I did is, is buy a cheap mirror from the dollar store. This is a plastic mirror and all I did is just trace it around the paper. I used one of the papers from the collection that has beautiful flowers in the background and I just traced it and cut it so I could glue it to the background, almost like decoupage it to the background. The hard part of working with a mirror is that it reflects everything. So you're going to notice that in many different places, you see some stuff. You see my camera because it reflects the camera when I turn it around. Or you can see some of the areas in my room as I'm moving the mirror around. It was also really hard to take a picture of it at the end because I was trying to not get anything in the background. I used 3D matte gel to glue this piece that I cut to the back of the mirror. It really changed the whole look of the mirror once I glued it. You can also use soft gel for this as well. That's The 3D gel is what I had at hand. And it doesn't really matter which one you use. As long as you glue it and then use some type of tool to really flatten out the gel so it doesn't give you any bumps. In this case, I just used my hands and firmly pressed all over the back of the mirror to make sure that any bumpy glue will just come out from the sides. Whatever glue came out, I just used to seal the background and seal the papers. So if it gets wet when you're using it in a bathroom, you can make sure that it will seal the paper and it will not ruin it with any water damage. So the gel really helps for that and it's good to seal it all everywhere. I heat set the gel really well because I wanted to work on the front of the mirror and I really didn't have patience to wait. I wanted to add a little bit of that same flowery pattern in the front, so I cut only a handle and glued it in the front part of the mirror to create that flowery pattern in the handle of the mirror as well. I took some heavy black gesso from Prima and using a paintbrush, painted around the edges of the mirror. I just wanted to paint the plastic so I could add some wax everywhere as well. I did this both front and back including the edges of the mirror and here I am peeking you can see me in the mirror reflection so it's really cute because it kind of gives you an idea of where I'm sitting and what I'm doing. To finish the distressed look of the mirror I took two different type of waxes. One of them is the fire ruby and the other one is the aged brass and using my finger, I started adding some of the color to the edges of the mirror. So this way, it defined everything and made it look as if it's part of the background. I loved combining these two colors because they really look together and match the Midnight Garden collection. The aged brass specifically match the foil accents that these papers have. I continued adding it in the front as well and even took the aged brass and added it in the edges of the mirror and also in the front over the plastic. Since I had covered everything in black gesso, it really took the wax really well, but it would have probably done it anyways because this wax goes on any type of material, but it looks better when it's on black gesso. It has a better grip when you use it on black gesso. So all I did is outline the mirror. That way it really looked like it matched the Midnight Garden collection. Now it was time to embellish the mirror. I fussy cut some beautiful flowers from the same paper I had used for the background. And I also took some die cuts that come in the collection like the ephemera and also some real flowers that match the collection as well as some die cut feathers. I fussy cut some of the feathers from another one of the Midnight Garden papers and I also had some die cuts that I used as well. Some of the foiled pieces look really good with 
this embellishment so I really like adding those as well. It reminded me of some type of 1920s mirror with the feathers and the beautiful flowers. Once I figure out the arrangement I took the 3D gel and glued everything to the background. I love using the matte gel because that way you don't see anything once it dries. The glue dries clear. What I like about this medium is that it's so versatile. You can use it to decoupage, but you can also use it to glue embellishments and even to go through a stencil to create patterns. Since the embellishments were hanging out from the bottom of the mirror, I thought it would look ugly to have it in the back the way it did. So what I did is I took some black gesso and just painted the back of the embellishments, all the different pieces of papers that were sticking out to kind of make them match out. You could take some of the same paper and cut out pieces or just add feathers looking the other way and matching the other side. But all I did is just take a little bit of black gesso and just add it to the background. That way I could add some of the wax and make it match the rest of the embellishments. I mean, this is a temporary solution. Most of the time people will be holding the mirror facing themselves so you won't really see the back as much but I just thought it would look nicer that way so I painted everything in black. Once the gesso was dry I took some of the fire ruby and the aged brass and added it to the black gessoed part. That way it matched everything else that I had added in the background before. I also added a title at the front of the mirror that says you are beautiful. I wanted to have every person that picks up this mirror, whether it's me or somebody that I gift this mirror to, that they will pick it up and always feel beautiful whenever they're looking at themselves. This is a really important thing for women and also men or teenagers. So if I'm going to give it to my daughter, I want her to feel that she is beautiful no matter what. That no matter what she does, whether she wakes, wears makeup or whether or not she feels something else within herself that she always knows she's beautiful inside and out and that was a really important message to put on a mirror i think that's really important you don't see me adding this on but it is there at the end and you can see it in the little edge of the flowers thank you so much for watching if you liked my video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media for more inspiration, subscribe to my channel and visit me on my website. Thank you so much and have an amazing day. Bye!